Okay, I'm going to try one more thing to get this to cool down a little bit more. Uh, I just turned this on so it's not real cold yet. The uh, temperature inside the shop. Now the temperature inside the shop right now is about 100 degrees and that is uh, 21.7 in Celsius, so 21.7 21 is looks like 69.8. Yeah, we it's not cold. <laughs> it's not cold. It's cooler than it is inside the shop, so uh, but it needs I want it to get down to about seven degrees uh, Celsius, which is uh, 44 40-ish um, in the 40s. Uh, so when I put something in the refrigerator, it will get cold and not just, uh, I mean, right now to keep stuff cold if I put it in when it's cold because the, the cold of the thing actually helps cool down the, the chill unit, but I want it to get cold all by itself. So the problem is, um, the, the heat sink stays hot, uh, and it's really hard to get that to cool down enough. So. And I have, since the, the first video, I've split this in two. That's two different chill units. So two different heat sinks, two different fans. And the inside is two different elements, two different fans. And I plan on doing a lot of different changes on this right now. So, um, so I'll be adding I'll be adding this fan to the inside right underneath the chill units and I think I may have to take the whole thing apart and uh, put the chill units a little bit closer together. And right now they're just as they were when they were made. I'm going to have to modify it, get them closer and get them directly underneath this fan. So the fan will blow air down into their little it should go down further than the two little fans that are in there right now and the air will have room to circulate back around the top of it and be blown back down so I want full circulation so when uh, so when the chill units are running all this aluminum lining you know, we've got the insulation and then the, the door and then the insulation with this aluminum lining I want that to get cold and that will help help it keep cool when it's not in the dump loads right now all I'm running it at is in the dump loads it's, it's dumping right now so the air conditioner or the chill units are running and I can I can feel it uh, fan only reaches about like that far so it's it's not getting anywhere near the bottom of this um, it did a little bit more with the other 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 chill unit that I had in there the, the original but uh, the original was too hot in the in the elements here so or the heat sink it just didn't didn't draw off enough of the heat so we're going to be modifying that in this video where I will be adding on uh, a, a water uh, system, water cooling system. So these, these will be directly, these will be between, sandwiched between the hot side of the Peltier and the heat sink. So I'm going to try and double, double cool this because the the cooler I can keep the hot side on the on the Peltier units. Let's see what I find when I got one. Here. The cooler, this is the hot side, and this is the cold side. So the cooler I can keep the hot side of this, the colder this side can get. And I want it cold. I need it really cold. So, um, so that's the first first stage is the uh, these will be in between the Peltier unit and the heat sink uh, this is going to be directly under the heat sink to blow it down into the fridge um, and then what we've got 
we've got um, the tubing that will be connected to these and there'll be one little piece that bridges between the two and then the one side will be coming off and one side's coming in that will run into this uh, tiny little radiator here and be coming in the uh, one side and then coming out the other side and we have a one of the original fans that I had on it in the first place and I found a little grid to cover that and that's a good thing to keep the fingers out and bugs big bugs in there. anyway that's the uh, the radiator unit so from the other side of the radiator unit it will be going into a pump so it'll be coming into the pump and then going back out of the pump into a reservoir and the reservoir and then it comes out of the reservoir back through the tube and back into the other side of the there's a name for these I just can't remember what it is right now I'll uh, put it in the video if I find it. But anyway, that's that's going to be in the new system. I've got to find a way to mount all this stuff on the back side of this board. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll just move this over to one side and have all the water cooling stuff on the other side. And so that's the project. And uh, I'll show you progress when I get there. I had to add a, add a couple things because of uh, failure. And when I first set this up, I had this uh, flex charge controller on there that I had bought at the same time I got the uh, Wind Blue PMA. And I broke this. It was my fault. I zapped it. I had uh, turned off my power or turned off the battery while there was still. Uh, Juice being fed into this thing, so I know exactly what happened to this one. I'm not quite sure what happened to this one, but it had a very similar problem. And 
I decided I'm not going to spend another hundred bucks on another uh, flex charge controller. Um, these are these are a solid little little unit. They work very well if you have a system that you're not tinkering with all the time. But uh, I tinker with this quite a bit, so I'm afraid I did something to that one. So, uh, but I didn't realize when I I didn't realize it when I broke the first one how I can get around having to buy a new one. And uh, I finally figured that out. So it's, if you notice right here, it's not hooked up to the battery or it's not, uh, it's not feeding the battery that is being done somewhere else. Now that's, I'm still using the meter. I'm still using the sensors. The, uh, the indicator light is still working, you know, so when it's, uh, low on charge it blinks at me and whenever it's charging it's green uh, whenever it's dumping it's red and what I've done is I added one of these rascals and it works great and had I realized uh, under under 40 bucks I guess it's about 30 bucks for that one but under 50 bucks, under 40 bucks, I could repair that without having to buy another flex charge. And this, this will actually handle a whole lot higher amperage and is less likely to fail because of uh, my little mistakes. So that's a new thing on here. Um, I finally had to do it. Had to get some batteries. The little booster pack isn't doing the job anymore. Well, it's still working. It's just not doing exactly what I needed to do. I need more from a battery. So I picked up a set of six. These are motorcycle batteries. <laughs> They're not very big. Uh, six volts at 4.5 amps. So don't have the money to buy a full set of big batteries but this will this should help my uh, my power board it's just a little bit of help and uh, so now I got to make a little uh, holder for them so I can make it convenient to carry a tisket a tasket a little battery basket this is those uh, little uh, 6 volt, 4.5 amp hour batteries that I just picked up. About 40 bucks uh, for six of them. So that's uh, configured as a 12 volt battery. So it's 12 volt at uh, 4.5 amps. So this can be 27 amp hours or one hour at 27 amps. I don't think it'll last that long. But it's just to help help my power board out a little bit, and uh, it hooks up fairly fairly easy. Oops, like that. And with that on, I can go ahead and turn the battery on and turn on the solar. These cables right here. These cables here have got uh, two cables go to the uh, Freedom 2, one cable goes to the solar panels, and this one goes to the solar uh, tracking controller. And then way out there, I have two more solar panels that I intend to fix up on a, uh, a four-way tracking to be a little solar pod. Um, this one's all filled up already. Um, of course I gotta wait till I have a, an extra 300 bucks or so before I can invest in that. But this is where I plug in the other parts. So this one is the wind and this one is those other solar panels we have in the yard. 
and it seems to do pretty good. So, uh, so we're already dumping. With the power on, I can do other things. So, but that's uh, that's those little batteries I bought, and in their own little portable device. Put a couple root beers in my cooler. Okay, 72. That's room temperature inside the uh, store. Seems to be 72, 72 everywhere. 71. 71, so 71. So these will be going inside the fridge. I just turned it on. We just just got enough sun to uh, to run it. And let it cool down for a couple hours. Ouch! Who we are doesn't matter. What matters is our plan. Was getting a car part of your plan? Of course. We had to know if you were getting cold for us or not. The Atropality and Deception are powerful agents to the uninitiated. But we are initiated, aren't we, Watson? You act like a much larger fridge. Nothing held back. No reserves. Admirable, but mistaken. What? There is no light in you, Watsucker? Oh, you think darkness is your ally. But you merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Formed by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. And by then, there was nothing to me but blinding! Shadows betray you because they belong to me. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it?